Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read. I'm a little late. I was out a little bit late last night. Had some stuff I had to go do. And... But anyway, I'm still here. Happy 4th of July. If it's uh, if you live in the United States, it's a big holiday here. <clears throat> so what's going on here with Pisces? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Hmm. So we have we have the blank rune. Okay. When the, now Pisces, the blank rune talks about a choice or a decision. So this is um, probably for sure some sort of a, a decision or choice that you're going to be making sometime. What else is going on with Pisces? The blank rune doesn't really help us too much at first. What's going on with Pisces? Wow, well, I like Inguas. You know, Pisces, Inguas is, um, this is male energy. But uh, it, it, it's very, very potent energy too, all right? I mean, you don't have to be a male to, to have Inguas come up. It's just the nature of the energy. Anyhow, Inguas is something very, very powerful. Um, yeah. It's usually what this is, is something very powerful to propel you forward in a very, very positive way. And generally, that's what, what Inguas is talking about. So we got T was. See, look at it, like moving forward. <laughs> like I said, propelling you forward in a very positive way. Look at you got T was right here. See? This is forward movement. This is victory and success. And this is forward positive movement in your life. Something uh something drastic I feel is about to, to change. Okay, I don't know what that is, and I don't know why I say that, but I just kind of feel it when I see that. What else is going on with Pisces? Inguas. I mean, <laughs> Urus. This is Inguas, sorry. This is Urus. This is the strength rune. Pisces, we've been through hell, all right? And, you know, and this is just showing how strong that we really are. We're very, very strong. And there's really um, no uh, advice to give except just to continue to be strong. So, yeah, stay strong, Pisces. We've been strong. We've been strong. We've been moving forward no matter what. Wow, I like this, Kanez. See, this is your victory. This is a major victory. This is something that has been bothering you for quite some time, Pisces. It's it's one of those really um, it's one of those really kind of sad, sad, sad kind of feeling inside. Um, and this is changing. This is changing. This is your victory. This is, has to do with something um, to do, uh, uh, you know, you, you could maybe have felt like you have been left out and thrown to the side of the curb. And I think that this feeling is going to go away. Yeah, with victory here. Look at this, you got victory here too. What's going on with Pisces? Nathies, Nathies, yeah, 
could have left with, felt like you left, you're left with nothing. See, there's nothies. This is coming off onto somebody else's energy now. But, um, at times, our energy is so strong, it takes over every single rune, too. And I have seen that happen. Uh, usually, um, usually that doesn't happen, but I definitely feel it here with Kanaz. I feel that somebody somebody uh, did you wrong. So you're going to have uh, Hagelez. Hagelez. This is shocking, shocking, something shock, somebody, somebody with some sort of shocking news. This is uh, Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. Hmm. What's going on with Pisces? So we have Vinguaz again. Wow. This is a very powerful read, Pisces. This is going to, this this shocking, uh, whatever this shocking information is or whatever this shocking, uh, something shocking from this Leo, it's going to propel you forward in a very, very positive way. Look at, you have victory twice. Wow. This is an awesome reading, Pisces. I'm really liking it. Righto, righto, righto. In reverse. Okay. Well, you know, I like this in a way. Um, uh, you know, Pisces, I feel that this reading also is, is going to extend into, um, uh, parts of this reading is going to extend on. It's gonna be more than just for today. In other words, especially when this is concerned, this Kanaz, this very difficult feeling of feeling left with nothing and left out, kicked to the curb like you were a piece of crap. Um, that part here is going to, um, that, that's coming, that's, that's moving up further. That's going to, this is going to, um, I feel that this is going to be more than just a daily read, really. As powerful as the runes are, because I see two inguas in here twice. Now, as far as Rido goes here in reverse, this is um, this could be some sort of transportation. Okay, um, it could be some travel, uh, but I do see the blank rune here next to it. So it could be like maybe uh, you want to go somewhere. Um, maybe there's some place that you don't want to go today, and you have a choice of that. So if you were invited to go someplace and you don't really feel like going, don't go if you don't want to, <laughs> you know? And that's the way I'm kind of feeling with Rido here in reverse. Uh, you know, this is probably um, most likely uh, going on today. But, you know, like I said, the timing is different for everybody. But, um, yeah, if there's some place that you, that, you know, you might feel like you're obligated to have to travel there. Um, since you have the blank rune, it's like you really don't have to. You know what I mean? If you decide to not do it, then don't. Because, I mean, there's no sense in going someplace where you're going to feel kind of like, you know, weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't really like going to some places either, you know. And even if I do, I'll usually just eat and then go. <laughs> I know that might sound rude or something, but I just don't like hanging out with a bunch of, you know, people and people I don't know and just, you know, it's just kind of weird to me. So, 
Anyway, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm the quiet guy off in the corner, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So anyway, it looks really good, Pisces. I really like it. Let's pull some tarot cards here too and see what else is going on. All right, you got the Ten of Cups. Wow, now Pisces, this is awesome. This is so good. This is like some sort of emotional fulfillment, okay? See, this, this right here was so feeling so bad and feeling like, you know, with nothing. This is, this is emotional fulfillment. So I like that. And what else is going on with Pisces? The Six of Swords. See, we keep getting the Six of Swords. Somebody's moving. Somebody is moving for sure. Somebody out there that's watching me is moving. But, you know, um, the Six of Swords is moving into peaceful waters. And that's exactly what the doctor prescribes, Pisces. And if you don't want to go somewhere that you may feel obligated to go to, you know, if you don't want to go, don't go. You know, it's not going to it's not gonna really hurt their feelings too bad. And if it does, oh, well, they'll get over it. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, anyhow, I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm going to pull... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to pull a couple of these uh, uh, warm runes out here. Kind of making it a, a quick a quick reading. Because um, I have a bunch of stuff I have to go do today too, unfortunately. Ah, new one. New one. Well, I like new one. Let's see what it's talking about here. New one. This is the ash tree Pisces. And the meaning of this is transitions, renewal, feminine energy, growth, peace, support, friendships, and destiny. Struggles and challenges are a part of natural part of life, and it is essential to accept that these are obligatory to improvement of growth. New and symbolizes a get together with friends, families, and communities for a specific purpose. See, this is like a holiday here, at Pisces. So, um, the, a lot of people here in the United States that are watching me are going to be getting together and stuff with family and friends. Yeah, <laughs> and maybe you will too, even in Australia, if you're watching me there. Um, Ash tree represents destiny, but this doesn't mean you're bound by a certain routine. Rather, it shows a unique path that is especially for you. Boundaries are not a disadvantage as they may help you become more aware of connecting points and find creative solutions. Create the life that you desire. So yeah, I like this Pisces. This is, this is, this is good, all right? And the only thing that I see here is this righto. It's also spiritual. So, you know, I feel that a lot of you could be feeling that really deep spiritual feeling today. Um, yeah, I definitely can feel that. So it's not only talking about that deep spiritual feeling that you have. It's also talking about, um, you know, if you don't want to go somewhere, you know, You've got a choice. You don't have to go if you don't want to. <laughs> All right, Pisces. All right, you guys. Now I'm going to get right here into the birthday readings. Um, so let's get right into it real quick. All right, so Pisces, we have uh, three different uh, uh, birthday runes. Uh, if you're born uh, February 19th to February uh, 27th, so will is your rune. All right? Now, if you're born... February 28th to March 14th, Tiwaz is your rune, all right? And if you're born from March uh, 15th to March 20th, Barkana is your rune, all right? So let's get right into it, and let's get to Solilo, all right? So Pisces, if you're born February 19th to February 27th. What is going on? 
Oh, okay. That's a cool looking card. And you know, I can't pronounce that. I have to look in the book for that. <laughs> but it, it doesn't um, pronounce anywhere close to what it looks like. Okay, so the name of this particular rune here, Pisces, is called Desithal. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> This is a broom and reed tree, broom or broom or uh, reed tree, and broom is a correct association for uh, dysentol. However, white goddess by Robert Graves, it is usually interpreted as reed. Besom handle is made of reed. The meaning of this is liveliness, strength. <clears throat> wounding, healing, herbal remedies, and such. Broom is a, br is a bush with bright yellow flowers with thin branches and usually used to make besom. Flying besom with a reed stick made from twigs, which was believed to be used by witches to fly in European mythology or traditional besom. Besoms cleanse and remove unwanted harmful energies from homes or sacred places. Desethal symbolizes living a balanced and healthy life and pro prioritizing physical and mental health. Okay, so make sure that you're taking care of your health. Prioritize that, Pisces, okay? All right, so that's what's going on with that. Let me... um pull one of these moon cards or not moon cards one of these angel cards <laughs> going on with Pisces born February 19th to February 27th mother father God wow what an awesome card you guys and you can't go wrong with this all right so I this is really good so let's find it here Ah, oh, here it is right here. The meaning. You were connected to the power of creation at this time. Your spiral parent is employing you in their incredible love and filling you with divine energy and inspiration to help you move forward. This card is a message directly from the heart of God. It is telling you that you are significant and precious. You are loved beyond measure, and the creator power is proud of you. You are being encouraged to have faith and know that anything is possible for you. No matter what may be going on, going, may, no matter what may be going on, Going on, you are connected to the source of creation. Your angel guide is encouraging you to remember this now. So, I mean, wow, that's an awesome card, Pisces. So, I really like that. And make sure you're taking care of your, you know, your health, okay, Pisces? That's very, very, very important. All right. So, let's get in here to, um, to Tiwaz, all right? So, now, Tiwaz is... Um, from February 28th to February, I mean, to March 14th, okay? Now, if you're born on the February 28th, Solo is your card as well. And if you're born on the 27th, Tiwaz is your rune as well, all right? So what's going on here with Pisces born February 28th to March 14th? Louis, Louis. Well, let's see what that's uh, talking about here. I can find it here. There we go, Louis. Defense, herbalism, control of one's actions, growth, and fresh ideas. Protection of animals also may be a sign of a threat to your prosperity, joy, or physical or mental health. Um, if you see Louis in a during a divination, there can be a sudden burst of uh, creativity or inspiration. All right. So again, take care of your health, Pisces, 
And um, yeah, this is talking about a sudden burst of some sort of uh, inspiration. So this is really good. It is, all right? And take care of yourself. Yeah. Let's get to... Uh, Get one of these uh, angel cards out here. I want to shuffle them more. Let's go on Pisces, March February 28th, March 14th. Take a step back. Okay, take a step back. So Pisces, you may need to just take a step back. Let's see what it's talking about here. I mean, it's okay to take a step back, you know, it definitely is. Your angels are guiding you to take a step back and reflect before proceeding further. There is an excitable and action oriented energy around you at this time, but you are being encouraged to review the situation before making any moves. Remember that you are a sensitive being and should, <clears throat> and should the correct steps and intentions not be lined up you could open yourself up to harsh energies or a situation that could be limiting your growth so in order to have the best experience and positive outcome take some time to meditate on your actions intentions visions and goals call in your angels and invite them uh, to help you all right so this is really good pisces just make sure that you, you you know you think before you act all right don't just jump into something just make sure that you think before you're acting and uh, if there's any any major decision over here you know think about it first all right make sure that you can think about it and i can feel that really really hardcore um energy it's it's a good at feeling energy though i like I like this feeling, I, you know, something is, something is turning for sure. All right, well, let's get into the last uh, rune here for Pisces. Um, if you're born March um, 15th to uh, March 20th, Barkana is your rune. All right, so let's see what's going on with Pisces born March, March 15th to March 20th. All right. Well, now I can't really. I think that says Ia, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's look. I think that says Ia. Where the heck is it? And the best way for me to find these things, too, is um, by the pictures because it's not in alphabetical order. So, um, sorry about this, Pisces. There it is. Takes me a while to find these things sometimes. Yeah, the name of this particular rune is called Ia. Okay, Ia or Edad. This is the aspen tree. And the meaning of this uh, rune, Pisces, is bravery, overcoming fears and worries about the future. Ia, Ia represents the visual quake of aspen tree and symbolizes how accepting your fears and worries may make you stronger and help you overcome them. Remember that aspen tree is quite strong yet flexible. Remember this while trying to overcome difficulties. Ia can represent enlightenment and connection with the universe through altered consciousness. So this is really, really deep. This is talking about, um, you know, going into a deep, this is really, really deep. This Rido is hitting you guys hardcore. So it's just telling you to, you know, realize the difference between reality and, and uh, you know, what's not. But this is really, really a super deep, deep. Um, I notice with, with you guys that sometimes the runes are a little bit more intense. Yeah, but this, this Rido is definitely more intense for you guys. This is a spiritual, very deep spiritual card. I like that. So what else is going on? What's going on with Pisces born? <clears throat> March, oops, 
gosh, I'm just making a mess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm dumping my cards everywhere. <laughs> it's for March 15th to March 20th. Divine timing. Divine timing. So that's good, Pisces. Um, divine timing is... Well, let's just read it. Life is always unfolding in the perfect time-space sequence. So angel wisdom is encouraging you to move into that state of trust, knowing that good things are always unfolding for you. You may find yourself feeling impatient and unsettled, but instead of letting your ego and imagination pull you into a down word spile, trust that your prayers are being answered and your plans are coming into fruition in a way that is meeting your needs rather than your wants. <clears throat> you may feel that your prayers aren't being answered or your hopes aren't being realized, but you must know that the universe and your angels are always working towards the highest good to <clears throat> and the outcome will always best serve you. When this card appears, Trust in the process, okay? So just trust in the process, Pisces. And and I know you guys can feel this deep spiritual. Yeah, I feel it too, for sure. Well, there you have it, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Um, if you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. See you tomorrow. And oh, by the way, sorry I didn't... Um, uh, digitize uh, the the cards uh, but I have really important stuff that I have to do and um, I don't have time to edit everything but at least I can get the the read up for you anyway so <laughs> all right you guys all right so I'll see you guys again tomorrow all right Pisces bye for now